know that the Borough Town Council um, officially invited you to Excuse have me. a meeting, have a meeting um, with them so that they could tell you, give you information that perhaps you don't have, and I hope that you will um, have that meeting with uh, President John Pacheco and the Borough Town Council. That is our intention. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Kenneth W. Putnam Jr. I'm from Pasco, Rhode Island. I only have a few things to mention to you because I'm hoping that I can speak the next time you have the meeting, but I might not be able. I've been in business for 50 years. I just came from Texas where my daughter lives down there. You should see the economy they got down there. Now you know that we've been in a bad economy for eight, ten years now. Think of your water rights what you might need if the building comes on up here, you're gonna want that water and need it. This plant is gonna be here for 30 or 40 years, and if you make that commitment, you ain't gonna have that water to do this expansion that we might just have here in Rhode Island. So I want you to think about that. I like to dream big, and I hope you guys like to dream big too, make this city when I was, I'm only 76 years old, but I can remember my mother coming down to Main Street with Parkway up there and go to all these grocery stores and all the uh, Christmas parking spaces and everything. I mean, it was wonderful. We need that to come back. I know they're not building right in the city, but they're building outside of the city, and you guys could make it happen, but you can't give away that water. And the other thing I wanted to say was, this plant is trying to be built up there in Boroughville that's in 14,278 acres of preserved land that they, our forefathers has put aside, that there should be never anything built down there. And Janet Hoyt in 2012 bought 189 acres of land from the Boy Scouts. And they were so happy together that they wrote a big article, I don't have it here, but they wrote a big article that there should be never anything built like that. And this plant just should never even be thought of. Common sense says it's impossible that they even think about building it. It's on wetlands beside. And you people know that Boroughville is the highest pond in Rhode Island. The water comes from there and it runs downhill into the reservoirs. Right? When they pollute that water, they're going to pollute everything further down the road. So I just beg of you, and I, I hope that you guys can dream big with me and Think of stuff we can do to get this economy going here in Winsocket as well as Boroughville too. Okay? Thank you for letting us speak.